Hi guys, in this video we are going to work on um, modeling fraction situations or finding a part of a part. Um, sometimes I call this the brownie pan strategy because it uh, goes with the brownie problems in our book on page 31. So you just watched the video where they had um, brownies in a pan, there was two thirds left over and the guy came up and said I'll buy one third of what's left in the pan. So let's practice modeling that. So we want to know how much is one-third of two-thirds. So let's start with our brownie pan. So take a second, draw your brownie pan in your notebook. And we are going to start with our second fraction. So we're going to make sure that that goes on one side of our array and we're going to cut it going across into thirds. Using my pencil, I'm going to shade in the two thirds of our brownie pan that we started with. And now we're going to figure out what one third of two thirds is. So at the bottom of my brownie pan, I'm going to label it with one-third. And now we're going to take this brownie pan and we're going to take one-third of what is in the pan. So again, I'm going to break my pan into thirds. But this time I only want one-third of what's in the pan. So you can see I've got two-thirds shaded one way and one-third shaded going the other way. And the answer that I'm looking for is the place where it is double shaded. So the spot, that's, the spot that I'm talking about is this that I just highlighted right there. So that answer is two out of nine. So one-third of two-thirds is two ninths. Okay. We're going to do that one more time with a different setup or with a different two fractions just so you can get the hang of it. These examples should be in your notebook so you can refer back to them. The next one we're going to do is we are going to do one-third of one-fourth. So I'm going to scoot my paper up, give me some more room. To draw, I want to know what is one-third of one-fourth. Again, we're going to model our brownie pan. I'm going to start off with my second fraction. I'm going to shade in one-fourth. Going across my page, I'm going to shade in one fourth. It honestly doesn't matter which one you shade, as long as you shade in one out of four. Then I'm going to take that one fourth and I'm going to take one third of one fourth. Using my second color, I'm going to cut it into thirds and I'm going to shade one third going the opposite direction. The answer to my problem is where the double shaded area overlaps, where the green and the pencil shading overlaps. It's this piece right here. So our answer is 1 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1 third of 1 fourth is 1 twelfth. You're going to go ahead and use this strategy to answer the questions that are in the next activity in Schoology. So go ahead and uh, st stop this video, click next, and move on to the next assignment.